called my project the Electric Hourglass. Um, the initial inspiration sort of came from uh, the image of like a mad scientist pulling down a lever and electricity shooting out everywhere. That's the uh, Tesla reference here. Um, so as a project statement, I, I wanted the intent of the hourglass uh, to create a new perspective on the age old timepiece. Um, it, my inspiration also came from uh, the treatment of time as a nonlinear construction, different cultures and uh, theologies and philosophies and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I was hoping for this to create a new sort of discussion on that. Um, and so at first I was thinking of trying to incorporate a plasma globe. Um, Hopefully you all recognize this when you touch your finger to the outside of the globe. It's supposed to create visible electricity um, to your finger. And so I want to take apart one of these and put it inside the hourglass. Um, but the problem with that is that these have to have plasma in their environment. And so I thought I would have a lot of difficulty trying to find plasma to reintroduce into the hourglass and also vacuum seal it. Um, so that led me to uh, my next consideration, which was um, an electric arc. And I talked to uh, Mr. May about this, and um, he, in, in order for this to happen, you have to have a lot of uh, voltage, and he didn't really think that would uh, work with the constraints I was working with. And so um, he did mention that I could do a, uh, a spark gap generator um, but the distance in between the wires is so short and it's I think the spark that I would give off would not really be a very compelling aesthetic so decided to move past that idea um, and then I started to think of how could I create some sort of spherical object inside the hourglass that would hopefully give some sort of um, you know nice looking light display and so um, thinking along the lines of some like convex mirror or something that would give off light rays sort of like you see here um, and so I had this uh, this old Christmas decoration and it was a Christmas tree with these little silicon uh, balls on, on it um, and so I just took one of those off and sort of played around with that trying to create this sort of a effect um, and so as I took that direction, um, or, or stepping back a little bit, to, to create the base, I found a, this piece of remnant wood and uh, went to the Center for um, Innovation and Creativity um, to use their CNC machine and using rhinoceros just cut out the base um, so it all fit together nice. Um, as for these vertical columns you see, it's uh, pieces of trim I bought at Home Depot, and um, it's like a half rotation, so I just put two of them together to create sort of a column effect. Um, and as for the hourglass itself, um, I should mention that. So um, hourglasses, they're like pretty much always closed off on the bottom and top um, so that it forms like a nice reservoir for the sand. And so as I was looking to find um, a used hourglass or one I could buy in the store, I, I realized that there was no way for me to put something inside of it because um, there's no opening in the glass. And so uh, my research led me to find this uh, Chemex coffee maker actually uh, for pour overs, but I thought um, it was a pretty, um, I think it stayed true to the, the hourglass form um, and it also had the opening at the top which allowed me to install something on the inside. So um, that's my assembly, um, the amateur photo here. Um, it, it looks a lot better in the dark. I'll uh, try to do a demonstration. Um, using a laser pointer. Actually, could you hold it up so everyone can see it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, 
necessarily. Um, I wasn't completely satisfied with how the aesthetic turned out. I was hoping to have a much more brilliant sort of light display. Um, and so, oops. Um, yeah, for future considerations, um, I would have definitely liked to explore those other options I mentioned earlier, such as the plasma globe and the uh, electric arc, um, as well as um, maybe uh, using a lathe to create um, those vertical columns and create some cooler designs in the wood. Uh, I think I was talking to Jason, he was telling me about a surface imaging feature that you could link up with um, like a laser cutter to, to create some um, pretty complex designs in the wood. So I would definitely want to look into that to sort of amp up the aesthetic. Um, So as far as materials go, the Chemex coffee maker was really expensive. Uh, I was definitely the biggest cost um, in this project. <coughs> um, I was lucky to, to get the remnant wood for free. Um, it cut down costs a little bit, but ended up at around $62, which wasn't too bad. Um, I was gonna return the coffee maker when I lost the, uh, the receipt. So I um, guess I'll be making some coffee soon. Um, but yeah, i um, just like to thank uh, Professor Harrisburg and my, my teammates, Thomas and J Jason, for some periodic inspiration. Also, the ITLL and uh, CINC. Um, so I'll turn it over to any comments or questions, if you have any. I'm intrigued by your, uh, your comments about how you want this to be about time and nonlinearity. Could you talk about that a little bit? What? Um, yeah, sure. What's the thought there? So yeah, um, I guess recently uh, I've sort of like read into different theologies and philosophies um, and a lot of uh, Eastern traditions along with other cultural traditions such as like Native Americans, they, they don't really think of time in the same way that we might in our uh, Western society. Um, uh, like for instance, in, in some of the Eastern traditions, they think of it more as like a, a moment, um, time as a moment, um, but not exactly um, dynamic, you know, just like sort of, I don't know, it's, it's very interesting. I, I, it's hard for me to even wrap my head around it sometimes, but yeah, just, um, yeah, I was sort of trying to get away from just the, the linearity of the sand falling and create oh, okay. something. Uh, so here's our suspended moment. Right, exactly. Got it. <laughs> and okay. yeah, as I was playing around with different ideas of what to put inside of it, um, other things came to me. Um, maybe some more fun dialogues, like if you put a little disco ball in there, you could create some sort of connection between party timer, <laughs> but yeah.